So, I've been talking to the crew and we've had some crazy ideas. And I want to build a proof of concept combustor for our turbo system. It's kind of a rare technology in the turbo world. It's been around actually since like the 40s or 50s. But people don't do it a lot because I think it's like a little bit of black magic or something. Um, but it involves things I love like turbos and fire. So we're going to try and see if we can make one work. Maybe we blow ourselves up. So I have an idea in my mind for an annular combustor that would go around the exhaust inlet to the uh, turbo. This is the size tubing that we use for the inlet to our tube, our turbo. And then this would be the inner wall of the combustor. And then this size tubing roughly is gonna be the outer wall of our combustor. And then this piece of tubing will be our outer sheath. So, just a little bit of welding, a little bit of drilling. It should be easy, right? What could possibly go wrong? If there's anybody that like truly knows combustor super well, they're probably gonna laugh at me because I don't. I've just looked at a bunch of stuff and combustor designs and got the basics. And uh, I actually looked at scale model jets and they had some of like the most crude combustors I've ever seen and they worked, which was kind of inspiring because I was like, crude is totally up my alley. I could build something crude. The inner wall of the combustor, what I'm, what I'm basically going for here is there's gonna be some very little holes up in this end and that's where the flame is going to be ignited, is up in here. And then these holes back here are actually the mixers. So there's gonna be a chamber where the fresh air is injected and the fresh air will be on both sides of this annular combustor. So inside here will be fresh air and then outside the overall tube will be fresh air. So these little holes allow the air to kind of cool the combustor and keep the flame from just melting the metal away. So the trick is if you have too big a holes or too many then the turbulent air can blow the flame out and if you don't have enough the combustor melts. And I have no idea how to do the math on figuring that out. So that's why we're building this. Because I'm like, I'll use just stainless and fiddle around with it and see what happens. You know, we'll take a look and use temp probes and stuff and see how hot it actually gets and try and get some kind of a handle on the design. But it's super interesting and I've been kind of obsessed with it for the past week and I'm really dying to build this thing. So. I'm just going to dig out the drill, start drilling some holes, weld up some tubes, and see what happens. So this is where we got to tonight. I might do a little bit more welding before I get out of here, but then again, maybe not. We have a combustor. This is where the exhaust flows through. So in theory, we wanted to do an annular combustor so that we wouldn't impede exhaust flow from the engine at all into the turbo. So the annular design works well for that. I do have a concern that the combustion chamber is quite narrow and I'm a little bit concerned that the flame in the combustor may overheat the combustor. We're really trying to kind of manage the airflow in this area in the next stage to allow it to go in and swirl in the combustor, but also cool the combustor. And being that this is our first ever version of anything like this, I really have no idea if it's going to work or not. So I'm hoping. Um, we've got a couple trick things that are either going to work or they're not. You know, the, uh, the air inlets for the combustor down here are all angled to promote swirl. So the flow straighteners at the opposite end here, we've 
actually curve to try to take that flow and then straighten it back out and duct it through these oval ports. You can kind of see through there so that the flow going into the turbo is straightened out and we don't just have a bunch of swirling going on in here. Um, my concern was that if I didn't straighten that out, I would lose a little bit of the, the velocity and the energy that's intended to spin the turbine. You know, we wanted to have it going straight through, straight at the turbine. So that's what these veins are for, is to you know, straighten the flow out. Uh, eventually on this angle there will be an outer casing. So each one of these will be individual chambers. So as the air goes through the combustor, it's going to get captured and be forced to flow in a straight line to exit that cone. So I think that'll do a really good job of kind of like evening out the flow at the end. So I'm really, really, really excited to light this freaking thing on fire. <laughs> so we have the combustor to a point where we're ready to start testing it. Um, we've got a place for the air to go in and the exhaust to come out. We got some ports in here for gauges in the future, assuming that it's going to work, which at this point is a really big assumption. I'm really hoping that it doesn't explode because that would really super suck if I'm standing next to it and it turns into a grenade and I've got to pull shrapnel out of my butt for the next five years. So. Oh. And in other news, five idiots died in a parking lot with a jet of combustor. Go, go, go. Go, go, go.